Welcome back to the 2004 Locked Hardcore Iron Man series, the series where I can only do content that is up to December 31st, 2004. The goal is to achieve max melee from a simpler time, all while being an Iron Man and staying true to the old and outdated methods. Make sure to get caught up with the playlist in the top right hand corner and let's dive right back into it. Welcome to part 5. I know you guys spend a lot of time online, but let me ask you, are you keeping yourself secure? That's where ExpressVPN comes in. What if I told you that to help protect yourself online, it's as easy as picking a region of your choice and connecting to it. This ensures that you are able to browse the internet without malicious people interfering with your online experience. What ExpressVPN does is mask your IP address, encrypts your data, and then reroutes it through their own servers. So to put it simply, you can be online confidently knowing that people won't try and use any of your precious information against you. And you can get some real enjoyment out of it as well. With all of these streaming apps these days, it can get very confusing which countries have which shows. With ExpressVPN, it doesn't matter because you can just change your region. You normally can't watch South Park on Netflix in the US, but look at me now. So if you are interested, head down to the description and hit that link, or go to expressvpn.com slash frog and find out how you can get three months free. Thanks again to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Next up, I'm just gonna chop some willows to go for the 50 wood cutting for the Legends quest. Now, technically, I should be going for the rune axe before I get the wood cutting because I need both of those requirements for the Legends quest, but I have some time right now where I can AFK and do some editing. And there's another requirement finished for the Legends quest. I bet you guys could totally figure out which skill I decided to go for next when it comes to the Legend requirements. Yes, it is the 45 herb lore, more specifically the 44 herb lore because you can boost the Legends quest skills and you can get a plus one boost in 2004 with herb lore with the Greenman's Ale. It's super easy to get. You just buy it from a shop in Yanil. Boom. Now we will have to go past the 45 anyway because I do want to make super strengths when I go to like the Calify Queen and stuff, but... I mean, I will gladly cut corners, at least for the sake of getting the Legends quest done ASAP, and then we'll swing back around at some point. For the other skill, Magic, that's technically 59 Magic, because we have to do the Family Crest quest. That is also boostable, but Magic is pretty easy to get, and I'm going to need 68 at some point to enchant Dragonstone Jewelry. I'd actually like to get a Ring of Wealth much sooner rather than later so at some point that is going to be a grind but i don't think i'm going to cut any corners when getting 59 magic for this quest and then of course it's going to be bashing out 107 quest points there's a lot of quests i haven't done that give a lot of quest points things like goblin diplomacy and sheep herder things like that so i don't think the 107 will take too long to get it's more the herb lore grind that I'm really worried about, which is kind of why I'm trying to knock it out of the way right now. So I'd say like four to five hours of killing herbs. These are all that we have, at least for the ones we're actually going to make pots of. We got all the secondaries except for the Marantils, which are by far the most annoying to get because unicorn horns aren't the most fun to get. It's just not something that's efficient to do. And I thought about actually skipping the Marantils and just killing the Chaos Druids for a bit longer and just getting 44 herb lore, not including those. But... I wanted to change the scenery, but we have 63 attack now. Let's go kill some unicorns, get the last bit that we need for the materials for that 44 herb lore, mix it all together. So the Maritals weren't actually that bad because I didn't use them all. I literally got just enough. I think I have one extra actually, but pretty much just enough in order to just get the 44 herb lore. Uh, yep, there's that extra one because they come in groups of two. I felt guilty having an odd number, you know, it just felt really weird to me, but... Also, 109 prayer potions. They are three dose, but 109, which will be great for the KQ grind. So we got a nice little head start on that. There's the 44 herb lore. That means skill requirement wise, the only thing we need is the magic level. That might be a bit pricey, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. I think we have 31k in the bank, but we also have a lot of alkables that we got from the trolls. And I'll try to kill something that drops some sort of alkables as well. So I can kind of fund my magic as I keep doing it more and more and more. Uh, we do need quite a bit of levels, so we'll figure it out though. I'm not worried. So I have no idea how many runes I'm gonna have to buy, but we have 129K to spend in total. So I'm just gonna buy a lot. I'm probably gonna spend like 70K worth or so and then go to the fire giants because I don't really have too much of an option in 2004 of things that drop money that I can save spot where I'm not gonna die. So I'm actually incredibly embarrassed because I said I wasn't gonna boost magic. 
in order to do the family crest quest because i need like 68 magic anyway um to enchant a glory and a wealth but honestly i've been here for almost six hours now and i want any excuse to not mage fire giants anymore so i am gonna do some quests i am now gonna focus on getting family crest and the 107 quest points needed to do the legends quest and we're gonna bash that out now is this gonna be the quest complete i have your crest sir and here we go so fun fact about 2004 the steel gauntlets which is needed to make the chaos gauntlets the cooking gauntlets as well as the goldsmith gauntlets are all the exact same stats as the Klang's gauntlets, which are all, all five of those gloves are the best in slot gloves for melee. As you can see, if I put these on interchangeably, all the stats are the exact same. So cool little fun fact. I think these actually came out first and the three others that the steel gauntlets can be made into. And then the Klang's gauntlets came out. And I guess Jagex didn't really want to make a new best in slot glove. So they gave them the exact same stats. Kind of funny that these remain the best in slot gloves until March of 2006 when Barrow's gloves came out, which went from a plus two strength bonus to a plus 12. Talk about a massive increase. Like the weirdest and easiest quest that you'll ever do for five quest points. Goblin Diplomacy complete. Professor Odenstein, what do you think you're doing to Ernesto over here, man? Come on, turn him back. There we go, four quest points. Send this guy right back to the Shadow Realm where he came from. And that's going to be Demon Slayer complete. Three more quest points. 91 now. Just casually killing a bunch of sheep for four quest points. You know, an average day in Gilinor for sure. And Black Knight's Fortress complete. Just casually blowing up potions with cabbages. Yeah, we may be cutting this a little too close because I am out of food. I didn't come with any prayer. And I just ran out of runes. That's really awkward. We can save spot around here, though. <laughs> oh, God. Why do I do this to myself, man? I'm not a hardcore dude. So Horror from the Deep is actually really nostalgic for me because the first time I did this quest, it was either late 06, maybe early 07. And it was Sunday morning. It was really early. I got up really, really, really early that morning. And holy fuck, kill it. If I have to tell you, yeah, I'm going to fucking yell, dude. I have 16 HP. Do I just risk it or what? I think I'm going to risk it. But it was, yeah, it was super early Sunday morning and I was late for Sunday school that morning and church and my parents were furious with me because I caused them to be late. So this quest has a very special place in my heart. I had to tell you, I have no one to blame but myself. And there we go. The second time is a charm. That is going to be the horror from the deep quest completed. And with the rusty casket, we can actually pick a book. I'm going to pick Zamorak. Now in 2004, you couldn't actually get another book until... The book you picked was completed but the zami is the only actual beneficial one and the only one i'd actually ever use if i got the pages and figuring whatever we'll just get the zami one i don't think i'll ever really need it in this series but maybe we'll grind this one day go for the full zami book that'd be pretty cool 102 quest points we're getting really close now prince ali done and we have one more quest to go to get that 107 we're gonna make the last one nice and simple and now we get free access to that gate which is awesome Nine of times you try to go through that thing, you don't have 10 coins, so you're hacking away at goblins. I think you dig right here. I'm looking really cute. I got a job at the Port Serum food store, and then I kind of grabbed the bottle and dipped, so probably fired. Hey, there we go. We got one-eyed Hector's treasure. Beautiful. Look at that. All I care about is the 107 quest points. Now, I'd love to hop into the Legends quest right now, but we can't actually complete it just yet. You might have heard me mention this a few times during a few clips throughout the series thus far. We need a rune axe or better to complete the Legends quest. And of course, in 2004, the best in slot axe that you could possibly get is the Runite axe. Now, there are two ways you can get it. The first being you just get the mining and smithing level and you make your own with 86 smithing. Now, we're not going to do that option for pretty obvious reasons. We're going to go with option number two. And option number two is getting it through clue scrolls. Now, a rune axe actually is incredibly common from hard clues. It's one in 27 per roll. And every single clue scroll has an average of five rolls because you can either get four, five or six rolls all the same chance. So that means for every single clue scroll that we go through, we actually have a pretty good chance at getting the ax. It's about a one in five to one in six chance of actually pulling it out. The problem is actually completing the clue scrolls. And I'm not even talking about getting the 2004 requirements to getting it done, although there is a few annoying ones, but 
that's not even what I'm referring to. I'm talking about the clues that aren't in 2004 locations and don't use 2004 items. Of course, since May of 2004, when clue scrolls were released, clue scrolls have gone through a countless amount of updates. I mean, it is literally 18 years later. I can't expect that to not happen, but unfortunately, that is what has happened and it makes doing clue scrolls very, very hard to do. So we're gonna find a nice compromise of the clues that I can do and say that if the clue scroll is in a 2004 location and it uses 2004 items, I am able to complete the clue scroll, even if that clue scroll was added way after 2004. So if we're in 2004 gear, we're using 2004 items and we're in 2004 locations, it's gonna get the green light. Otherwise it would be very, very 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 hard to do and it kind of kills the immersion of the series because technically if this was 04 i should have access to every single clue scroll that i do assuming i get the required skills to make the items so without further ado we have a clue in the bank let's see if we can bash through it and get lucky for our first time around maybe we can pull that rune axe fairly quickly so we managed to get two steps into the first clue that we were attempting super happy about that but we managed to hit our first complication and that's to play the song complication in Falador Park, which is unlocked at the Chaos Altar. And of course, we need a Chaos Talisman in order to get in there. There is only one way to get a Chaos Talisman in 2004, and that is through the rare drop table. But it's kind of tricky. It's, it's super vague on the wiki on which monsters drop Chaos Talismans because monsters will either drop a Nature Talisman or a Chaos Talisman. But to my knowledge on what I picked up, not both. So figuring out which ones drop which is kind of annoying because I know the wiki isn't 100% right. Because when I was killing trolls, I got a nature talisman and those trolls were underground. When you read the wiki, it says that most monsters underground that have a rare drop table will drop the chaos talisman over the nature talisman. But the troll generals dropped me a nature talisman and I know they dropped that because I have three nature talismans in the bank and zero chaos talismans in the bank so that's why are we here it should be about one in a thousand and i am already really regretting this grind but you know it's gonna give us a much needed xp anyway so we might be here for a really long time oh my god let's see we aren't that deep in this grind we are 414 kills in and we get the chaos talisman I was terrified that I was gonna get a nature rune. And the, the reason I picked the chaos dwarfs is because they had chaos in the name. And I was like, there is absolutely no way a chaos dwarf drops a nature talisman. But that was my first kill of that trip. Let's, let's, oh my God. Oh my God. You're such a little shit. <laughs> I was like, I can't write just like fuck or something. That's lame. I gotta get creative with it. Oh my god, the first casket. We got the first <laughs> casket. We got the first casket. I'm coming in. I'm coming You're in for now. Come in, come in. I'm gonna open it. Oh, uh, we need the rune axe. We need the rune axe. Here we go. Here we go. We got a magic short bow and black dragon high chaps. That's a pretty good clue. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's gonna. I mean, that is the best in slot range weapon and the best in slot chaps in the game for 2004. That's kind of hype. Wish it was the axe, but kind of hype. So I haven't had to grind out clues yet, like actually getting the clue scrolls yet. And the one I had in the bank, I'm assuming came from a green dragon because when I was doing research on the things to kill in 2004 that I can kill with 79 combat, there's not many of them. My options include green dragons, blue dragons, and greater demons. Those are the best things that I can kill in order to get clue scrolls. I guess I could throw in hellhounds as well, especially if I'm safe spotting with the halberd, but I need to ultimately get my range up really high anyway, hopefully like 80 or so or something like that, so I can actually kill the KQ, the second phase of the Calphite Queen. I'm going to need range. And, and we just got an item, two items that we really, really needed. And if now isn't a great time to train range and then use this range to save spot either green dragons, blue dragons, greater demons to help bring up the range level a little bit and farm clue scrolls in the process get the rune axe and hopefully maybe even get the black dehyde body along with it so 
we're gonna go to rock crabs but first we're gonna make a little bit of a detour and buy a archer helm which is not the best in slot helm actually it is a robin hat but i mean you guys see how troublesome you know <laughs> getting clues are so i don't know if that'll ever happen on this account so for the time being, this may be the best in slot that we ever get. And this should be the 50 range whenever I hit it again. There we go, guys. Totally unexpected again, but we have the magic shortbo, the best in slot range weapon that you can have in 2004. I actually turned off the auto retaliate real quick because I had to pull up um, my recorder because I've been pretty much like semi AFKing. As you can see, look at all of that. That's how that's how much you know I was AFKing because I'm kind of running low on arrows and I just wasn't even attacking for so long. But that is 50 range. I'm actually really tempted to try to kill some things just to see how accurate I am. I don't know if I'll be grinding clue scrolls just yet because I feel like my range isn't high enough, but I might go give it a stab real quick. And just see how quick I can down some high level monsters with 50 range, green dehyde, and a magic short bow. And we get our first clue scroll. And as you guys can see, I'm deciding to kill the hellhounds because they actually are the only monster that drops it 1 in 64. The other monsters I listed are all 1 in 128. And these guys, they're not that hard to kill. The only bad thing is, is they drop absolutely nothing unless you get a clue scroll and these ashes which obviously are in 04 that's actually a pretty recent update in the grand scheme of runescape but let's see if we can do it and we cannot that's going to be a pretty common theme on the 2004 account which is something that we're all gonna have to get used to but watching clue scrolls disappear isn't the easiest thing but it's okay it's okay i just got so excited i saw the kazari jungle and i was like oh we're going there anyway we'll start legends quest and then i saw the stole and the heraldic rune shield so <laughs> Big rip. Ooh, another clue. First one in a while. I don't know what that is. Maybe we can do it though. I'm nervous because this could actually be the end of the clue scroll if I get a casket. <gasps> oh my God. That's only four clues. I'm getting so lucky. Okay, I'm poisoned. We have tons of food though. Rune axe. Rune axe. It, it, this will be incredible if we could just get a rune axe. Um, not a rune axe, but... It's not a bad clue. We now have the best in slot range body. And a good elk, 11k. 50 laws you could always use, and sharks are always beneficial. Ooh, another clue. Okay, is this gonna be one we can do? Are we gonna get as lucky as we did, like, the last time? I don't know. Let's go take a look. We actually might be able to do this one as well. This is my fourth step. I think it's right here. Another clue, damn it. Oh, I don't know. I don't know where this one is. Oh, I'm nervous now. Oh my god, that could have been another casket. That one's in the Kazari jungle, so we have to just start Legends Quest. I think all we have to do is start it, get an axe and machete, and walk in and kill the Sarah Wizard. I think it's that easy. You know, getting the rune axe in the Kazari jungle, which is where I have to use it, would be pretty pog. Oh, another clue. Mmm, this would be the last one if I can do it, though. I think nervous so this should be the casket i believe Ooh, a looting bag i was wondering what that was yep because that is as high as we can get in terms of the amount of clues that we have so let's tell you out first let's get out of here let's empty our inventory as you can see i'm really precautious right now being in the wildy i've got my best food on me <gasps> and then i see people like that but i think he looks like more of a rev killer with that on but we're fine we're out we're out all right the third hard clue scroll are we gonna get it are we gonna get it on clue scroll number three damn it we are not uh those are 2006 dang it Dang it, dang it, dang it. It's okay. So, of course, in 2004, we're only allowed one tab. The only reason why I have the second tab here is to hold items that aren't in 2004, just to keep them separate to my main one giant tab of everything else that I am, of course, using for the 2004 progression. Look at this, guys. 60 range. You also might notice something a little different about the layout. I updated my game frame to have like these extra rip pages around there to make it a little bit more authentic also it adds this frowny face for the ignore list of course the real ignore list is here now so it just gives a nice little extra touch and you know gets us lost a little more in the immersion we haven't had a clue scroll in so long but that is 60 range i've thought a million times about going to blue dragons but of course the clue scroll rate is double there and <laughs> I'm hoping I can get some money from clue scrolls. I mean, the last few we have open, there are some alcables.